So set your moves. Let's go. Wake your ass up. Bitch, I'm up. Wake that ass up, y'all. What's going on? What's going on? This your girl, Glenda, better known as Miss Peaches. And of course, you already know, we got us a live interview with Sauce by Steve, baby. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, they didn't hear you. They didn't hear you. A little, little, little louder than that, baby. Yes, sir. We in the building today. Hey, that's what I like. What's going on? How's it's early? I know it's early. We appreciate you for coming. I know it's early. What's up? Tell us what's going on. I need you to loosen up. It's the interview. Yeah. What's up? Um, shoot. Well, Tell them who you are. Tell them who you be. What's up? My name is uh, Sauce by Steve. Um, other no otherwise known as Master Chef Sauce by Steve. And um, what I do is I'm a artist, producer, and audio engineer. Uh, based in Atlanta, obviously. Um, but I recently dropped my first single like a couple months ago in August. Uh, it's called Hoodie Off. Y'all can go stream that. It's out everywhere. Um, the YouTube video hard as hell. So I need y'all to go, you know, go crazy on that. And I got my cameraman here, Wealthy. You know? Shout out to Wealthy. Shout, Shout out. out to Wealthy. Shout okay. out to Scale Magazine. Okay, uh, what, what is the shot to who? Red Scale Mag. Red Scale Mag. Okay, okay. Let's go shout out to Red Scale Mag. Red, Red Scale <laughs> Mag. I be talking so fast, just be running through me. So, alright, so, you know, we here with, you know, South by Steve. So, you know, I'm happy to ask you, where did the name come from? See, that's a good question. Um, Really, like, Okay, so it really started all in middle school. Um, that's really when I started getting serious about making beats. And um, my friend, shout out my uh, boy Joe, um, he had his name, me and him were like, you know, like really best friends, just, you know, making beats in class and stuff. Just really, you know, when we ain't had nothing to do, just made beats. And so he came up with his name, like, it was just easy. His name Global Joe. Uh -huh. so, I was just like, dang, if he got a name, I gotta come up with a name too. So like, what people gonna know me as? And so I was thinking at first I had a name, like it was called YSL Tells or something. It was just, I don't know, I just thought of it real quick. But um, where Sauce by Steve came from is really after I had graduated, um, that's when I started getting serious about my music business. Uh -huh. And um, I thought about Sauce by Steve because I like like cooking. When I was younger, I like. Oh, I so, so you're a little chef, chef, yeah, like whip it up, yeah, okay, whip it up. okay. <laughs> whip it up in the like, kitchen. Like whip it up, ain't nothing wrong with that. Um, yeah, so I always be like helping my mom um, cook food for dinner. And I just kind of thought about it. I was like, shoot, it's kind of catchy if I say sauce. Cause it's like, a lot of people say they got the sauce or they got the juice, you know, um, or like, too much sauce, you know, like you. Oh you yeah, too, too much like, sauce. Hey, uh -huh. So um, I was just like, sauce by Steve. That's like hella catchy, and like it got my name included. So my actual name is Steven. Steven. Yeah. It's a catch though. It's a good catch. Right. I, 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 it's a catch. I'm, I'm feeling it. Sauce by Steve, and you know, it's just like damn. I like it though. Appreciate it. Are you interested in you know coming out with your little own sauce? Like oh, cook. yeah. <laughs> uh, we already got sauce. We got sauce in the making. Oh, snap. Right. So, yeah, we like the business. The business aspect was already there from the jump. Mm -hmm. I just had to like implement it and have a name to it. Okay. So, so, give me a little, little, little details. I need some more details. Oh, uh, we ain't really like, we got a plan. We ain't really been executing it because I'm trying to get all my music stuff together first. We will. Yeah, we will. There you go. Um, But basically, uh. The name of it is, we don't even got it. Don't even tell the name. Yeah. Just, just, know, the name. just know you can put it on anything, <laughs> literally anything. Yeah, like. don't give them to it. Yeah. They don't need to know all that. They don't need to know all that. <laughs> they business. Okay. Oh, so you don't be like Master P. Look Basically, at that, but, they right, Master P. Right, but Master Sugar, like, because oh, I'm, I'm cooking up the beats okay. and I'm going to cook up food for you. So, oh, snap. Yeah. Talk that shit then. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah, talking like, then, talking that. Hey, I like it. I'm, I'm here for it. Yeah. Appreciate it. Yeah, sugar. You know, there's a lot of rappers out there, you know, they've been doing their thing with cooking and stuff, you know, with the season. We got, we got um, Trick Daddy, we got Master P. Yeah. Uh, what's the other one? Uh, he's with, uh, was it with 
But he's an um, old rapper. I was telling my age. My age. Look, tell my age. Alright, so um, how old are you? How old are you? Um, I'm 19 right now. I'll be. What's me right now? I'll be, I'll be 20 <laughs> in December. December 19. 19? Okay, okay. You ain't got that long. No, you not that long. I'll be going up for my uh, 20th though. It's I, okay. Did you know any of the names that I was saying? I knew Master P. You know, <laughs> that's really, that's really all. He don't know that's really all. You don't know that's your daddy. Yeah. Oh my God. I'm going to show my age again. <laughs> show my age again. It's okay. It is okay. All right. So being in this industry, have you ever been in any, what's the rant to anything? Um, you saying like just conflicts or anything? Yeah. Like with people or just? People in general. Just in general. Um, you, yeah, it's it's a lot, really. When you when you're dealing with the music business, it's so much that you have to prepare for, and like so much you have to have ready ahead of time before you can even release a song. And I feel like not too many people know that. Um, but really, like what my what my um, plan is, like or how I want to go about things with my brain is, I want to kind of teach people like the right way to go about their music or you know, how to handle the business side of music right before you even release it. Because uh -huh. it's a lot of people who have songs out that could be like millions of dollars or it could be a hit and you could like have millions of dollars from it. But if you don't have the right um, like business side to it, if you don't have all your, your accounts as far as like for your publishing, for your copyright, for your royalties, then you know, you, you're not gonna make anything from it and you're just gonna be wasting time. And, True. So really, I just want to um, kind of just, Atlanta is like, you know, the, the city of production really too. So um, it's like the perfect city just to do what I'm trying to do and um, kind of uh, show the people like, you know, it's more than, it's more to it than just music. Like, you know, um, you can do, I mean, uh, shoot, I'm going to edit myself my back. What are you doing? Hey. I'm in a marketing. I'm, my major is marketing. Uh -huh. um, so in a way that helps me because it's like you have to know how to market your brand. Mm -hmm. Like your music is your brand. So if you don't know how to market it, then it's like you know you you gonna get people to listen to it. But if you're not hitting that target audience, then it's like you know you're not really gonna see that success that you want because you're not showing your music to the right type of people. Uh -huh. And so. Um, Really, I just said that to say, like, Atlanta is the perfect place to do music. And um, it's just really, it's been a challenge for me trying to um, uh, just connect with people because of COVID. And, um, you know, I just take it one step at a time. I can't meet everybody in one day, but, you know, uh, every, every day I'm doing something to, like, you know, try to reach out to more and more people and just show them my brain and, like, so we could work together come up with something original and, you know, just go about it the right way as far as business. Goes. Okay, since you know more about marketing and your brand, so I need you to elaborate with me more. So you know the do's and the don'ts, yeah. what to post yeah. and what not to post. Mm -hmm. So, you know, give me more insight details about this. So you have to, I know you have to be very <laughs> careful because I went to your page, it's like, the whole little revamp. Yeah. So. Well, well, really what happened with that, my main account had got deactivated um, by Instagram. Dang, you hype like that? Y'all even doing too much? They, they had deactivated my job as soon as I dropped the music video. So it's like, they was really just hauling me. Like, I couldn't even really promote my music video like that because my account was deleted. But. Instagram ain't do behave. Right. They do. They, they do behave. They hate. They, they do. They do. I give it to you. Instagram do hate. <laughs> they delete everything. You trying to figure out. You feel like, dang, I had this many friends and yeah. that thing, you know, they just like, dang. Yeah, but um as far as posting like um really you just gotta keep your your audience engaged like mm -hmm. you gotta be creative i feel like if you always posting something about your music or just you rapping like that's gonna get some it's gonna get some people to like it but you're not really keeping them like on your page constantly so mm -hmm. i feel like if you if you like stepping outside the box like me what i do um when I first started, I tried to do like different challenges for myself, like every every day of the week. So um, 
I would have feature Fridays, like where mm -hmm. I just hop on somebody's track that I was liking, or I'll post on my Instagram, like what track would y'all want me to hop on? Um, one of the tracks I hopped on was uh, Fake Love featuring Cowboy and Polo G. Mm -hmm. And I just put like my verse on the end, and that joint went crazy. Plus, was like, yo, you sound like you could actually be on here. Yeah, I put a little sauce on it. Yeah, I put a little sauce on it. That's what you yeah. need. That's yeah. what you need. Yeah. Put a little sauce on it. But let me go ahead and get into this music. We're going to go ahead and get into this music, then we come back. So, give me, you know, let me know. Give me somebody, you know, behind you. Um, what you want today, right here? Uh, really, I just. I mean, I put really my all into that song, so I just really want you to like just catch a vibe and just like listen to what I'm saying because I feel like my message is different too. Because like I'm not really talking about you know like shooting folks up, you know, killing somebody, you know, all that all that crazy stuff. I'm just really just like vibing, being myself, and just explaining my life, like what I'm going through. Okay. So y'all, we are here about to get into. Southside Steve. And what's the name of the song? Cause I mean, you gotta give me all the details. You know, I I know it, but you know, you gotta, you, you know, do what you do. The name Pity Off. Pity Off. So it's like, I'm not playing no games cause it's Pity. What's up, it's your boy Sauce by Steve on Direct Access Radio. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at sauce.e. And check out my single Pity Off out everywhere. Wake that ass up. Gotta learn how to play, man, that shit is a